I want to give you some advice on how to get a data science job interview, specifically on how to get your first data science job interview, because it's that first step that is often the most difficult, the most daunting. Once you've got your foot in the door, it gets a little easier. So I spoke to Nathan Rossidi. Now, Nathan is based in San Francisco. He's the lead data scientist at a healthcare company there. He's also an adjunct professor at the University of San Francisco. Part of his role as the lead data scientist is overseeing recruitment. And in doing that, he tells me that he's conducted around about 100 job interviews for potential data scientists. So I thought it'd be really useful to get his insight and his advice for you on how to stand out, how to go about getting your first job interview, and once you've got it, how to perform well in that job interview. So I started by asking him when I spoke to him a few hours ago, what his number one tip is. In order to be competitive, you need to have solid technical training. So this could be from a university, a boot camp, or an online program from a university, many of which are free these days. So the point is to have a solid technical foundation where the quality of your education meets a perceived standard. So some kind of proof of subject knowledge is required. And once you've got that, what's the best way of showing that you really understand what you've learned? build out a portfolio with real data science projects. These can include Kaggle contests or even diving into some entry-level projects on freelance websites like Upwork. Save these projects on your GitHub and put them on your resume. Having actual real work experience beyond your technical training will set you apart, especially for those that are just starting out. What other skills are you going to be expected to be able to demonstrate? Have a good understanding of how data behaves. You'll actually be using this tip on the interview, but you'll get the skill from experience. On the interview and on the job, you will be expected to understand and articulate how data behaves based off of how you define metrics, as well as the techniques you use to analyze the data. So being able to eloquently articulate this and understand how data behaves is crucial not only for the interview, but for the position as a data scientist itself. Is there a part of the interview that you've noticed that newcomers, novices aren't prepared for that sometimes takes them by surprise? So most new data scientists out there always talk about the techniques that they use to analyze their data. But they fall short in terms of trying to articulate their work to business value or to any value in particular. So don't be those data scientists. Be able to articulate how your work actually provided value to the business. Okay, Nate, so how do you go about getting a job interview? What's the best way of putting yourself out there? Proactively reach out to as many recruiters as possible on LinkedIn and other websites. Don't leave it up to chance and don't wait for them to contact you because it may never happen. And once you get that interview, practice, practice, practice as many mock interviews as you can. I hope you found that useful. In summary then, know your stuff, work on lots of projects, and if you can't think of your own projects, then go onto some of the freelancing sites and work through some of the projects on there. Understand data and how data behaves. And number four, I think, is really important. Why is someone considering employing you as a data scientist? They want a return on their investment. So you have to understand what value you can add. What's your value proposition? What's the value proposition of projects that you've worked on? Make sure you have an answer to that question. And five, network as much as you can. Thanks very much to Nate for joining us on this channel. There's a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Go and check that out. Also in the description are links to some learning resources that I really like. They are affiliate links, so if you use them, I will receive a small commission. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.